Good morning and welcome to the broadcast. My name's Todd and this is Digging Life 21. We're up here with the Mack dump truck. I already got a load of road bond, ABC, crusher run, whatever you want to call it, on the truck. I'm getting the Kubota tractor warmed up and the Yanmar excavator. First thing we've got to do is, well, I'll recap. Yesterday, all this was just mucky mess that we stripped off this old road. The grass had grown up through it, pulling dirt. We still got a pretty decent road bed. You can see where it gets kind of soft over there. We're gonna roll that fabric out. I'm gonna cut it into sections so we can make these turns real nice. And we've got to cover it from at least that corner all the way down toward that pod today. We've got heavy rain coming tomorrow, so we're kind of behind the eight ball to get this done. Let's see if we can do it. fabric kind of laid out where I want it but I'm gonna stop spreading through here to put my pipe in. That is good. Now the rain can move in and any of this water coming down off this steep hillside can run under the road instead of sitting on it now. That pleases me greatly. Gives me a good bit of peace of mind with the coming rain. If I don't get completely done, at least I have drainage in this corner and it won't become a mud puddle again. I'm gonna leave this humped up a little bit. I'm gonna bring some more road bond and finish the driveway out over there and with each trip i'm going to compact that more and more by the time i get all that moved this will be completely compacted and we'll be able to tailgate out of here and i will uh, at some point add this piece of pipe on to here where we can daylight this out and they can have their nice sloped hillside back instead of me having to taper that and having an obstacle for them to try to mow around Back to the job here. I decided to go with ABC M on this next load. It's got more gravel, less fines. It tends to come out smoother. And this truck's only got 350 horsepower, about 1300 on the torque. And I've really not had a whole lot of good luck back spreading with it because as it's dumping, everything that's coming out is soft. So it just really about doesn't have the torque it needs to push through that soft stuff but we're gonna try it this time and see what it does the reason it's better to back spread across fabric is when you drive straight across it it crumples it up in this situation this roadbed's 
pretty firm so it's not that big a deal to me but i still prefer to do things as good as i can good indeed well let's go let's go get another load so that last load went well it was coming out of the truck smoothly but i want it to be a little thicker so instead of giving it quite so much fuel i'm just going to put it in low reduction in reverse and more or less let it idle along <laughs> where torque comes in handy torque if that truck had more of it the truck wouldn't lurch when it's having that load shift a little bit had the bed up plenty high i won't be able to get back to the quarry they close between 12 and 12 30 so i'd just be sitting there for 30 minutes so instead of that i'm gonna jump on my tractor and dress this up a little bit and taper this edge so when we're back spreading that last load to finish this out it will uh, not have a little bump to start that lurching problem chains up one more link so it opens up more that way i can give it more fuel get the same thickness down but have a little more power
you can see where we ran out on that roll of fabric luckily the customer had a couple of scrap pieces of fabric of his own and we got it put down best we could let's go get some more stuff this is our first time pulling up in here i think i let that little turn around dry long enough i used the tractor to roll it in really good hopefully i've got enough material on here that i can dump it out and make a big enough turn around where i can turn around in that spot that's my hope if not we'll be stuck Hey, all right friends we're coming down to the end of the day i am so sorry i didn't get to film this but i am seriously running out of time uh, to beat this rain this beginning section i thought i was gonna have to strip it but there's just so much ballast in it that i just i didn't have the heart to just pile it and throw it away it's just it's too good of stuff there is some moisture content but i've got to drag that fabric out and place those three pieces up through there and that moisture is going to work its way out i'm not really worried about these few clots of grass at all it'll mash it right down so let's uh let's try to get this last couple of loads knocked out for this day folks got that truck part had adam come up here to pick me up save a little bit on diesel fuel this doesn't make for a good commuter we'll be back tomorrow to haul load after load after load and finish this out be sure to drop us a like comment subscribe if you're new comment almost because we're almost done thanks guys we'll see you on the next one